Hey everybody out there in the YouTube world, it's your boy Dash the Diesel Technician back with another fun video. Today we're going to be taking a look at my chisel and punch set that I got up here, man. Um, okay, now listen. Over here we have the 5 8 We have the 5 8 chisels, okay? This is for like most of the, when I want to go ahead and turn big stubborn bolts that don't want to turn i'll go ahead and start them off with this here we have the 3 8 size it's a smaller size for smaller application then you have the even smaller one here and this is labeled at quarter inch so we have the quarter inch one here the 3 8 and then the 5 8 here two 5 8 okay now these are the chisels Okay, now these are my center punch. These are my center punches. Now, if you see, these ones have the points. This is to bite into metal so you can mark where you need to drill at. You can have a starting, a, a little starting prick in the metal. Okay, now these sort of flathead center punches are for knocking things and tapping in pins or components that need to be moved over out of reach of your hand. If you can't fit your hand in there, I bought this whole set basically for this long punch here. I needed this long punch here, but these other ones that's in here, this one comes from a different set, but these other ones in here will make good use, trust me, I find use for everything, but I wanted this really long one here. And this long one is marked at, um, let me look. Okay, this is 530 seconds. This is this one is 530 seconds. Okay. Yeah, but I needed that one so that if I need to knock over a power stern pump so I can line up with the holes or any component that needs a good tapping, this will be able to get hold of it. So get you a nice set of punches and chisels, man, to make your job easier instead of, you know, doing things the un the untextbook way. Do it the textbook way. Meaning, get you some punches and some chisels. A nice set. Get you a nice set. This is this 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 is a pretty nice set. This one is a Craftsman USA, and these are Mayhew. The rest of these are Mayhew. This yellow one is a Stanley. Yeah, this yellow one. I use this one a lot. These other ones I just got, but this yellow one here is a Stanley. All the writing that was on it and came off, I didn't use it so much, but yeah, I used to say Stanley on it. So, other stuff that I got in here, you gotta have you some drill bits. You definitely wanna have different size drill bits in case you got a um, drill inside of a stud that just stubborn and won't wanna come out, then you can easy out it with this, with the easy out set. Definitely need an easy out set. Okay. And then these are picks. I use these for a different assortment of things. Definitely need you some files over here, okay? I got some files and then I got some wire brushes. Long files, short files. These are just some, you know, fuses. And then I got gasket making stuff like that in there, but yeah. So for all beginning techs, make sure you have these things in your toolbox if you wanna be serious about it. And, you know, get down to the nitty gritty. So, <sighs> I'm Dusty Diesel Technician. Y'all know my slogan, man. Subscribe, keep me alive. It's early, 7.30 in the morning. I just got in at the top of the morning. I got a couple jobs to do. As you can see, I'm already got something under the hood in the making. I'm getting ready to do a power stern fluid flush on this Corolla. I already changed out the power stern pump and I already changed out all the plumbing lines that goes into the rack and pinion. So now it's just we're getting ready to flush it. So let's get to it. Thanks for watching.